question is, how do we get the robot from point A to point B? The robot has to follow a certain path to get to point B. It can't just go in a straight line. No cheating. The robot must pass through two orange pylons before arriving at point B. Let's draw a map of what we want the robot to do. To complete the maze, the robot must follow a specific path. We need to know the distance traveled from one point to the next to determine how to program the robot to move along the desired path. There are three segments to be measured and two 90 degree turns. The segments are 24 inches, 20 inches, and 36 inches. So we want to program the robot to move straight 24 inches, turn 90 degrees counterclockwise, then move straight 20 inches. Turn 90 degrees clockwise, then move straight 36 inches. It's really like having only two problems. Yes, the first problem is driving straight, and the second problem is turning 90 degrees. The only thing that changes is the distance traveled and clockwise versus counterclockwise to turn. So let's look at the first steps required to create the op mode. We want the robot to go straight for a measured distance and then turn. To do that, we need to initialize the IMU. The IMU is a sensor inside the hub that we'll use to determine the orientation and acceleration of the robot. We need to set your robot on the path to go straight and get the IMU ready to help the robot navigate. Let's start writing that part of the op mode. Select blocks in the upper left corner and then create new op mode. Next, name your op mode Autonomous Maze, then select OK. We need to change the op mode from Teleop to Autonomous. It appears in the right menu on the driver station phone. We'll delete the repeat while block because our op mode will do its looping inside functions that we'll be creating later. Then, let's add a comment. Go to Miscellaneous and select the comment block. Add it under the Put Initialization blocks here, then type Reverse Direction of Left Motor. Now we want to reverse the direction of the left motor so both motors will drive the robot forward. Go to Actuators, DC Motor, select the Set Left Drive Direction 2, and place it under the comment. Notice that it already specifies reverse. Let's add another comment before the next action. Go to miscellaneous, select the comment block, place under the set left motor to block, then type place into braking mode so robot stops abruptly. We're making each motor brake. Go to actuators, DC motor, dual, and select the Set Zero Power Behavior block. Place it after the comment. Notice that it already specifies brake as the behavior for both motors. Now we're going to add two comments. One should say init the IMU, and the second will set the current Z orientation to zero. The second comment says that the robot's direction will be zero until we do something to change it. At this point, we need to create a function called initIMU. Go to Functions, select the first option, and type in initIMU. Go to Miscellaneous and select the comment. Place it within the initIMU bracket and type Create a new IMU parameters object. Go to variables and create a new variable called IMU parameters. The set IMU parameters to block appears. Place it below the comment. Go to sensors, select the IMU bno055.parameters option, then the new IMU underscore 
BNO055 parameters block and plug it into the set parameters to block. Now we want a comment about the angle unit. Go to miscellaneous, select the comment block, place it under the set IMU parameters block and type use degrees as our angle unit. To set the angle unit, we need to call the parameter. Go to sensors, select the IMU BNO055 parameters tray, select the set angle unit block, and place it under the new comment. Get a copy of the IMU parameters variable from the variables tray, plug it into the set angle unit block, and delete the block that it replaced. Notice that the angle unit is set to degrees. Let's comment the acceleration before the action. Go to miscellaneous, select the comment, place below the call set angle unit block, and type in use meters per second as unit of acceleration. To set the acceleration unit, we need to call that parameter. Go to sensors, select the IMU BNO. 055 parameters tray and select the set Excel unit block and place it below the comment. Get another copy of the IMU parameters variable and plug it into the set Excel unit block. Notice that the acceleration unit is set to meters per second per second. To help the IMU calibrate itself, we need to set the IMU mode to combination mode that's also called IMU. So, we go back to the IMU BNO055 parameters tray and select the set sensor mode block. Place it in our op mode. We get another copy of the IMU parameters variable, plug it in, and then change the mode to IMU. For completeness, let's insert a comment just above the block and type in set the IMU mode to IMU so it automatically calibrates itself. Now we want to warn the driver that the initialization takes several seconds. Let's start by adding a comment that says what we're going to do. Go to miscellaneous and create a comment that says warn driver that this may take several seconds. Now let's add a block that sends a message to the driver. Go to utilities, select the telemetry option, then select the third block, call telemetry add data, and place it under the comment. Type status in the key field and type initializing IMU ellipses please wait in the text field. Go back to Utilities, select Telemetry, then Call Telemetry Update, and place it under the Call Telemetry Add Data. Add a comment, initialize IMU using these parameters. So let's tell the IMU to initialize. Go to Sensors, then select the IMU BNO055. Then call IMU Initialize. Place it under the comment. Then plug a copy of the IMU parameters variable into the initialize block so it has the parameters it needs. Add a comment, tell the driver that the initialization is done. Then go to Utilities, Telemetry, select the Call Telemetry, Add Data text block. Place it below the comment. In the key field, type Status, and in the text field, type IMU Initialize to make sure that this message gets displayed. Go back to Utilities, select Telemetry, then Call Telemetry Update, and place it under the Call Telemetry Add Data. Let's go back to the Run Mode and add the init IMU function. Go to Functions, select init IMU, then place this under the comment. This will reset the current Z orientation to zero. You've completed Part 1 of the IMU initialization.